in today's video i want to talk about the most talk after the most search after the estate that is making wave now which is a tinu residential i want to tell you everything you need to know about this Itinu residential you go on google you will see it in residential. You go on Facebook, you will see it. It's making wave. You go on um, YouTube, it's everywhere. You go on, uh, just mention it. Virtually, virtually most of the search engine now, most of the social media, the noise now, the trending estate currently in Lagos, in Bejuleki, is a Tinu residential. I want to stay to the end of this video. Let me give you every details you need to know um, about the residential and why you need to invest in this estate my name is dennis so what i do is to give you property that have potentials of appreciated very well that is why i'm bringing to you this estate a teeny residential um this estate has been making wave please kindly stay to the end of this video and if you have not subscribed to my channel i will strongly recommend that you just do this for me now first click on the like button of this video i'm waiting for you okay thank you so much the ne next thing to do just click on the subscribe button of this video i'm waiting for you thank you and the last thing which i i i i'm asking you to do is this you can share this video with your friends and if any of your friends decide to buy any of this property which i recommend in this video i will definitely appreciate you for that then you can ask me any question you want to ask on the comment section of this video and i'm, I'm always here to answer you any question so the first question i want to, i want to answer is where is a tuna residential a tuna residential is located in ibejuleki in a town called ayuturo and this town has close proximity to Alarengbe, where we have the international airport, the Lekki uh, proposed international site for the airport. And the airport is also the large acres of land. It's a very massive project. And um, let me just give you uh, an instant for you to understand why I think buying this property is, um, it's residential is residential is, is a good one. Currently, um, if you're familiar with Lagos, you notice that we have the international airport around Ikeja Aziz. And around that Ikeja Aziz, the, the closest community around that Ikeja Aziz is Ajao Estate. And in Ajao Estate, the most thriving business in Ajao Estate now is hotel business. Which means that if you decide to um, buy into this 18 residential, you can decide to keep that estate, keep that, they keep this particular um, land for a couple of years. When the airport is ready, you can convert that land to um, a residential house or what they call short lets, which means those who come from the airport, they need a place where they can stay. They can use that to your place as a short rest before they move to other place they want to go to. It, not, it might not be a hotel in quote, but a short let service, which means maybe one day they want to stay for two days, or if they want an apartment they can stay. You can build something like that, and in this houses. And the truth is this: this Ajao Estate. If you're familiar with Lagos, I have a couple of friends who are hotel management in that, uh, who, who run hotel, who also who are managers in that hotel. One thing is certain in that house, they always tell me that their rooms are always booked which means they make a lot of money in that artist. So if you have that mindset, there are several business you can do uh, when cl um, close to hotels. There are several business you can do. And even close to, in, close to this artist too, we have the proposed um, seaport, deep seaport, which is about to launch. We also have the uh, Alaro City, which is part of a free trade zone, which is another major project. Then also the Lekki Ekpe Expressway, that road um, is under construction. The last time the governor came to this as is, he said that road will be commissioned at um, and that road will be commissioned very soon. And if you look at it critically, you notice that they are really working on that road. 
in the morphing. I, I ply that road almost if twice or thrice in, in a week and that road is a good drive now before if you go to that road that road was a mess but now from Eleko down to Ekbe is a is a good drive no single one port oh the road is still under construction and the way the road was done it was done um, using concrete which, which means that road will last long that is just that is one of the reasons why you should get it in residential apart from that also another reason why i believe you should get it in residential is the title of that property is allocated c of o you know when you have a title that have good you have a land that have good title you can go and sleep and if you watch my previous video i did a video don't get that land in Bajuleki. and what i was trying to talk about in that video is this before you buy any land in the Lake, make sure that land have what we call a, a title and not just any other title a title that is that is strong enough for instance um when someone tell you that um, a land have a um, um, survey survey is not a title don't let anybody save you survey is not a title survey only show a portion of your land so it's not a title so um, before you can buy land um, in the Bejuleki, let that land be at least have a session. But this particular land do not just have a session. It has an it has a location, a located C of O, which means you can go and sleep. Another reason why you should get a tuning residential is the company behind a tuning residential. This company um, uh, have property in. Um, our property around the Kate Aziz, they have apartment. They did the the, the Kamba wall phase one, which, which was sold out. They did phase two, which was sold out. They have phase three, they have phase four, and that's not all. They also have Kamba wall also in Abijo. They have apartment um, about four of it in the Kate. They also have another apartment in. Uh, another big estate in Abidjo GRA. The first, the, the first phase of that estate has been sold out. Now they are in the second, the phase two of that same estate in Abidjo. So the company, the company, the, um, the company have a very good reputation. They've been um, in the business for years and they know what they are doing. And the CEO, which his name is um, Nola, is a very young chap that um, know what he's doing. He is a very smart person. I've engaged with him a couple of times, and I can tell that when you see someone that is going somewhere, you know. Um, as an investment banker, he, he has done a couple of business, and this real estate is also um, part of his business that is moving with. He knows what he's doing. So when you want to buy, and you want to buy um, into a property, always look at the person behind that business. If the person behind the business is has reputation know what he's doing then it's a good one then another thing which make me love this estate is this you know in crypto world for some of us who are into crypto something we call white paper in crypto which simply means that before you um before they launch any product or, be, or when they launch any any um crypto coin they will put white paper the white paper would give you the roadmap give you how long what they want to do and how long it will take these are what that is what they call white paper in crypto but for a company just for me this is the first time i'm seeing an estate company coming public to publish their timeline beating you to your chest and telling you okay give us 24 months we will do this in this estate this, this, to be frank with you i've never seen an estate company that will do that this company came and they said okay in 24 months we'll make all the facility we promise we'll make everything available for you to start using in 24 months and since the launch not less than three months and a beer land when it was launched i went there and it was a beer land before you know what happened the fence was already on, on, on point you know the now the car park is already cluttered and the drainage uh, uh, 
you know, a typical estate company, what they will do is, is they will start selling land and they will wait for someone to pay, people to start paying the development fee. When you pay development fee, that is when they will now start developing little by little. But this company said, no, don't worry. What they will do is, you will, will go ahead and start developing even without your money. In short, this estate actually, this um, estate, it's in residential. This company started uh, developing the estate even before they launched the estate. Just imagine that. It is very rare before you can see a company doing that. They, start, they started um, developing the estate without asking the subscriber a dime. And now, they, and, and now they've gone far in development. I did video, about, I've done about two videos of that estate this week. You can check my previous video um, to see the current state. They've gone far. But the, 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 the sad news is this. The launching price, which is 16.5 million now for 500 square meter and 11 million now for 300 square meter will be expiring on the 9th of May, which is few days from now. I don't know when you're watching this video, but it is few days from now. So the, the question is, um, why will you wait until when you, until when you, uh, why will you wait until when it is over? He now said, and I know. And the good part is, for the 300 square meter with 3 million now, you can deposit your initial deposit and you're good to go. For the 500 square meter, you can deposit 5 million now and you're good to go. And another good thing I like about this estate is this. There is no other fee you are paying. You know, one thing which um, has been trained in real estate in Lagos is what we call in quote hidden fee. That's why some clients will ask you what are the other hidden fee. Some estate will not let you know. They'll tell you okay, the price is X amount, and when you pay with initial, that's when you now notice that okay, I have to pay for survey, I have to pay for deed, I have to pay for um, development fee. But this estate. A two residential estate in the Bejileki, they are not collecting any single dam. Just pay for the land, pay the, the amount which which is 16.5 million naira for 500 square meter, or um, 11 million naira for um, for 300 square meter, and you don't pay any other fee. Your deed, your survey, everything will be handed over to you. And the allocation will be done in a few weeks from now. So the question is this. Um, what do you think will stop you from getting this property? If there's any, anything that I think that will stop you, just call the number on the screen. And let me know. Let's discuss. Let's discuss. If you have any question, you want to know more things you want to know about the property, you can write in the comment section below. Um, I want to really answer you. I want to really see how I can assist you to get this property particular property a tiny residential and for some of us who are not yoruba a tiny means comfort what it means is comfort which means this land you are getting is a comfort this land you are getting this is a tiny residential you are getting is a place where you can go is a home of comfort and you know enough of all this english name and the rest you need to, you need to start um, um, flowing with our culture and give meaning to some words and that word it, it is a very strong word if you look at it critically I mean this land you are buying is a comfort and let me give you one business tip um, if you buy this property which is 16.5 million now, now um, and the estate decide which they've already stated that within 24 months they will finish all the residential, all the residential, uh, they will finish all the facilities needed. Let me give you, um, or let me ask you, how much do you think, how many percent profit you would, do you think that land would be in two years' time? And the truth is this if I'm your shoe, I will even advise you don't even sell in two years' time. Don't even, you don't, because if you say in two years', in two years time, you are even shooting your leg, you are shooting yourself. Imagine keeping this, this land for five years, 
Room five is even still small. I won't. I will, it won't tell you. I will tell you this land. I want to keep for at least ten years. You know, when it comes to property, think long term. Because this same sixteen point five million naira, if you keep it in the bank, I tell you, in the next twelve months, that money will not be twelve. Will not be sixteen point five anymore. That money will depreciate. But this upatla, if you buy a tiny residential. In 12 months, that property will appreciate. And sure, this property, this 18 residential, is actually increasing on the 9th of May, which is a few days from now. Imagine you doing um, buying that property now and keeping it for the next 24 months, for the next um, 3 years, 5 years, 10 years. Sometimes we think that this number of years is, is very far. Sometimes we think that is very far but to let you know this it's not as far as you think it is i remember those days would hear something like the new millennium the new millennium and the new millennium happened to be year 2000 and be oh we are in year 2022 and that is 22 years after i remember those days too that some politicians will tell you mission 2020 mission 2020 and now we are already, we've passed 2020, and now we are even in 2022. So, if you don't take action now, this is what will happen. In 10 years' time, you will say to yourself, Ah, I don't know how of taking this action. I have a personal experience. Let me share with you. About 2000, around, around um, 2008, I was taken to a place in Ibejuleki. To buy a land close to MN Estate. It was going for 400,000 naira. And myself, I told myself, why would I come and buy land in this place so far? 400,000 naira, then I had, I had the money to buy at least two plots. But I said, no, I can and I will not buy land in this place for 400,000 naira. What was my reason? One, it was that Lakey Express, Expressway did not exist then in 2008. It did not exist. It was, it was still a, a tiny road. So, and I drove all the way from, from mainland to this Aziz. It was very, it was a tiny road. And when when we drove to, we even got to Aja, I told KPB, as a place, said, no, we have to go inside. We, see, we have to start, see, drive to a local Aziz and see, drive a little bit inner. And the land was going for 400,000 now in, um, in, uh, in 2008 and BO I did not buy let me give you fast forward now MN Estate Phase 2 in that as is is selling for the commercial plot is selling for 33 million naira just imagine it's 400,000 naira 33 million naira what is it what is the time the time um, 2008 to 2022 see the see the um, 2008 2008 to 2018 that is 10 that is 10 years then plus that is about let's say about um 20, 16 years about um about 16 years or about 14 years there about about 14 years and see the gap uh I know that there, there, um, it, was, it wasn't an estate land, it was only land. And let's assume that okay, the price is not going to get up to that. Let's say the price now is even 20 million now. Is that not is that not is that is that not still a profit if assuming I bought it then when it was for four hundred thousand now and I regretted and I because that money I went that I went to I took that money and I still bought somewhere else. But the place I even bought a mainland now the value of that property now is not as much as Ibejuleki that I said I don't want to buy. So, in a, in a nutshell, there are several factors you need to consider when you want to buy property. And I shared it in one of my books, which I mentioned um, migration. And looking at it now, it, the, the people are moving from mainland to island. The reason is the free trade zone 
the activities, this deep sea port is starting this year. Migration for are moving from point A from the mainland to the island. Apart from mi migration, the uh, another factor you have to consider is employability. Um, more work is being created in in Ibejuleki Aziz. The fertilizer plant, which was launched not quite long, the um, petrochemical, there's the um, the Dangote refinery, which is functioning partially. Then the deep sea port, which is launching this year. Then the road construction that is taking place. Another city, the inside the free trade zone. When I enter the free trade zone, I notice that a lot of companies are already operating in the free trade zone. And more companies are coming into that free trade zone. And the airport, which will commence, but the time we don't know, but very soon. Then the question is, do you want until when things start? Until when it is very so obvious before you now position yourself? Why not push, just take yourself now and position yourself? The worst thing that can happen, happen you know, sometimes I ask myself, what, anytime I want to take an action, I ask myself, what is the worst thing that can ever happen? Let's assume you buy this 18 new residential in the Bejuleki and nothing won't happen. What's the worst thing that can ever happen? The worst thing that can ever happen that is you will sell it at a little profit, which is still better than you keeping that money in the bank that it will depreciate. With the current short, with the current level of Etienne residential now, if the let's say negative thing happened and the company couldn't complete the project, they just stop it there. If you buy it now, you will not sell the same value because the value would have increased. So the value has increased. I was talking to one of the rep today in, um, in the company and they said the current value of the property now, to be sincere with you, with the value with what you've put in, in, in that estate now is far far more than what they are selling now. So that's that is why the value they have to increase the price now. I have a couple of clients who came and tell me okay, they want to drop um some money, then pay the money by the end of the month. The company said no, they are not collecting. If you cannot pay the initial deposit of five million now or three million now, they don't want the money because they know the value of the land now. If you bring an estate value at one value that land, the, the estate value will tell you that that, that the, the money you are paying now is far, far below the value of the land. My name is Dennis Sisong. What I do is to look for property that have potentials like this and present it to you. That is why I'm telling you about this a new residential in Ibejulenki. I really want you to buy into this a residential. I've given you a couple of reasons. There are several other reasons, but I wouldn't want this video to be longer than this. That is why I'm giving you this, this breakdown. In case you have any question about a new residential, feel free, feel free to type on the comment section to ask me any question on a teeny residential. And in case you you um, you you have any person that want to buy this estate, you can recommend it to me, and, and I promise you, um, both of us will be happy. And um, in case there any any question you have, the number on the screen is my number, my direct number. You you can give me a call, direct call anywhere you are in the country or outside the country. Or you can WhatsApp me and give me a WhatsApp message. I'll make sure I respond and we can talk at length. You know, opportunity like this don't last long. And let me let you know this: Itin Residential is a very good project that um, people are begging to buy. I know what I'm talking about. I'm a realtor. I've sold a couple of plots in this estate. I, just like I told you, I have about a couple of clients who, who called me that they want to buy into it but they don't have up to the initial deposit. Can they pay um, like 1 million now, like 2 million now, then, they can, then for them to balance up, let's say by 31st of May. When I contacted the company, I tried to use my, all my negotiation skills to see how I can negotiate my way out. The company said no that anybody that want to buy should finish paying the initial deposit between now and 9th of May. 
2022. So, um, my brother and my sister, I would strongly recommend that you you buy into this estate, it's in Regentia, for these reasons which I've, I've made reference to. And I will not want you to miss it for any reason. And um, apart from all what I've mentioned, real estate investment is something that um, you can never go wrong, especially if you have somebody that can guide you. That is why I'm here, Dennis Isong, I'm here to guide you properly, to help you out, so, um, you know, not I don't promote any any company. Before I promote any any company, I make sure that I do my background check. I make sure that I confirm that that company worth it. So I would recommend that before you buy any property. Let me, I'm talking to you now. Please listen to me. Just like you have your personal doctor, you have your personal lawyer. I want to be your personal realtor. I want to help you out in getting all your property you want to get in Lagos, Nigeria, which is my major. And that is why I'm here. My name is Dennis Sison. I'm a writer. I'm busy in Lagos, but I'm from Akwai <laughs> You know, some people, some people will say, you this, you this Calabar man that I've come to Lagos to possess Lagos. Oh my god, I'm also from Akwai So I grew up, I grew up and all my schooling all in Lagos. but. I love Lagos. Lagos is a land of opportunity. And you mustn't base in Lagos. I have a couple of clients who have never stepped their leg in Lagos, but they see this opportunity and they call and say, okay, I want to be, I want to be part of this opportunity. Some of them have gotten one, two, three plots. They are not in Lagos. You must not be in Lagos. This, 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 this is about opportunity. You are seizing the time, seizing opportunity and taking advantage of what you know is for good. And the good news is this, some of you who are in abroad, let me say this. I know there are a lot, there are a lot of um, demand from you, especially if you are in abroad. People think, okay, people ask for money, ask for this, ask for that. Good, it's good to do all those things. But you need to also commit that money to something. Because if you don't have projects where you are committing the money into, everybody can come and ask you for assistance. You just keep on dream money. But you know, I was talking to one of my clients. He told me, boop, that this month alone, you have spent over $3,000. For what? For to send to different people who call, some will call and say, okay, my wife have a dick. Boom. My wife just gave birth. Boom. My outfit just expired. All those things are things that they can take you off if they really want to. But because of the, they know they have you at your disposal, at their disposal, they call you anytime. You you can you will answer them. That's why they are doing that. I would strongly recommend it, that you need this 2022. I want to plan this with you. Let's have um, let's do this together. Let me help you to arrange your real estate portfolio. Let me recommend estates you can buy. Let's you're making money every week you're making money every month they are paying you you know they they, they are this all this country they have a way of getting that money back so if you don't tie that money in something you might end up coming to nigeria empty and dead and that is not my dream for you my aim is to make sure that when you're coming back to nigeria you have property in reputable estate like a t new residential like Amen Estate, like um, Ura City, these are estates you can invest on in Ibejuleki houses, and these are among my top. So, Etunye Residential is among my top three estates you should invest in. Etunye Residential, Amen Estate Phase Three, and Ura City in Free Trade Zone. These are the three top estates I would strongly recommend that you you invest in in Ibejuleki. Thank you so much for staying to this point. I really appreciate you for staying to this point. My name is Dennis Hesong. In case you want to get property in Lagos, Nigeria, the right person to talk to is Dennis Hesong. And um, in case you have any question at all when it comes to real estate in Lagos, Nigeria, the best person to talk to is Dennis Hesong. And in case you are having, you are looking for someone to help you to arrange your 
visit portfolio so that you can put it at the right place uh, you can arrange it properly then the person to talk to is the next song in case you see an, an estate and you want to know if that estate what your buy or not the person to talk to is the next song i'm here to help you get fast um growing or estate that have potentials of appreciating very well that is why i'm here please kindly like this video share this video and please call me now let me help you out to get this in residential note is expiring in few days time which is um just few days few days or few hours time depending on when you're watching this video on the 9th of may which is monday nigerian time so thank you so much i appreciate you boom talk to you later bye